Welcome back. This is the next attempt after the last one you saw. With nothing, I didn't cut anything out. I haven't cheated. Depending on if this works or not, I might do a strategic cut to after this fight, but we'll see. I wonder if it's even doing anything. Like, do we aim for the arms? Sweeping motion, maybe? See, the part that I'm concerned about... It's the, part, it's the part that bleeds. The part I'm concerned about is... The arms when she gets freaking slappy over here. There's no fucking way to stop that! I'm jamming all buns right now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, I'm cutting this shit out. You'll, God knows how many times I'm gonna try this before I kill her. I'll, I'll let you all know. I think I did okay. Uh, the trick seems to be you just shoot her in the face a lot, and then one of her tentacles grabbed me, it kind of looked like. And now we're outside. <laughs> Hurt my throat. I'll make those noises. Wait. So I can't, I really couldn't move from where I'm chilling right now. I'm, like, I'm tortured and abused. Help me. Uh, if someone wants to... I just don't want to die right now. To be honest with you, Nana. Looks like a super weapon. Get it? What is it? The Albert O1? Is this from Wesker? This thing looks fucking intense. Give her one. Win one for the Gipper. Where's your face? Come on. Can't tell what I'm looking at, so I'm not gonna shoot yet. I think we got her. I think we got her. I turn the rocks. That's how you know you did good. Whew. Well, that was the throw rod. I'm kind of going to assume the game's over now. Maybe they'll throw in here a little... A little, hey, remember Resident Evil 4 when you did this? But probably not. I think the only time we're gonna get is Raccoon City is still fucked. So I guess the army wasn't looking for me though. Looking for that thing. The killer vine lady. Well, either help me up or kill me. I don't care, pick one. I'm Redfield. Hey, it's Chris Redfield! Holy shit! I'm glad we found you. 
Chris! The fuck took you guys so long? Alright, so that's kind of cool, too. So that's two little throwbacks to other Resident Evil games. Peace out, bitch. Look at that house. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Are we gonna oh, keep? Baby. We're gonna keep her and toss it. Bury her. Bye. There we go. It's a Samsung. I just noticed that. So my phone has the same little buttons at the top. The front-facing camera and the speaker. This was a pretty interesting game. Oh, this looks nice. This looks real again. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Especially well, if it's revolving. A door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. So it was one night. I knew me it. and I weren't the only victims here. Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't so were the bakers. Nah, I wouldn't say that for It was sure. that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Thanks, Umbrella. Now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. Everyone can be happy forever. I had just come to terms with losing Mia the first time. But now I've lost her again. No, you didn't. I don't feel bad. And the only other door I can see... is closed. I know they're trying for, like, the dramatic ending here. We definitely finished it. Uh, I know they're going for the dramatic ending here. I just don't really care. Is, is this gonna be cool? Is this gonna be a weird, weird something else? I give no shits about any of these people. <laughs> it might defeat the purpose of the game, but I don't care. I'm not moving anything. Okay, we're just doing we're doing credits in the news the newspaper here. I'm going to try to talk over as much as possible so we don't get the weird copyright strikes over top of the music. Uh, this game was pretty fantastic. It's super rare that games scare me. Haunted houses don't scare me. Or, yeah, they probably really don't. I go in and laugh and I know where the people are hiding. So maybe because I know it's fake it doesn't scare me. But playing this game in the dark elicited a lot of actual screams of fear for me. And I know they're jump scares and they kind of cheat. A jump scares are a cheaty scare, but it worked for me, so that was awesome. As for the gameplay, uh, first person Resident Evil is kind of weird, but it wasn't horrible. It was definitely uh, pretty good with the spooky stuff. The survival horror. Uh, for the story itself, they, they kind of lost me at the end, and I don't care. I think they're uh, I think they're singing Evelyn is dead in the in the background song right now. But I didn't you know, I don't know. There's a story. Creepy baby. Did you skip this? No. Okay, so if anything cool happens after the credits, we will come back. Uh, but the story itself, I could I could take it or leave it. I'll probably forget the story about of this game a day or two from now. Other than spooky game with kind of creepy ending and the credits that are unsettling at best but uh, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the series hope you screamed with me laughed at me screaming heard noises in your house after you watched an episode whatever catch you next time late In case you were wondering what the difference is, depending on who you cured, this is the fifth time I've tried to say that without tripping over my own words, uh, if you cure Zoe, you get the bad ending. Almost immediately after saving her, the game reveals that Zoe still traces the virus in her, and Evelyn's control over, over her kills the poor girl. 
Uh, we go in the chopper like you saw. Fancy iPhone, even though I think that was a Samsung. Says goodbye, throws, throws the phone out. Uh, to get the good ending, you want to cure Mia, even though she was a trifling bitch. Uh, by saving her, the two will leave on the boat. They'll take control of Mia during the ship still. And when Ethan is hauled out of Evelyn's cocoon, Mia will hand the tissue sample and ask him to go on ahead and kill her. During the ending cutscene, you'll see that Mia was saved as well, and both Ian and Mia will, Ethan and Mia will depart on the Umbrella Chopper. So, I guess you're supposed to save your girlfriend that tried to kill you the entire time, instead of saving the girl that gave you the cure. That doesn't make so much sense to me, and it's kind of a bullshit ending. Uh, you should be able to save either one, depending on who you helped, but whatever. That's kind of stupid, I'm glad I picked the ending I did anyway. Uh, fuck Mia, she bit me and stabbed me a couple times. Thanks again for watching the video, though. Catch you next time. Waits.